Hey guys, I just want to do a first impression review. I just got this. This is the Victos, Victos, I don't know, uh, the Taculus chest rig. Um, so, this is what you're getting initially out of the package. Uh, mine came with some fun swag uh, with it. This is the little deal that was attached to it. So, kind of what they talk about here as far as material, how it's designed, and uh, the different uh, pieces that they use to put it together. Um, designed, it's designed in Oregon, but uh, you can see right here it is made in Vietnam. Uh, but we'll go over it here, uh, just kind of, again, first impressions. Got this off Optics Planet, $75, uh, just $75, and then uh, it looks like on their main site it's the same thing. The way I received it, it shipped from their main um, uh, headquarters, it looked like, through Optics Planet. So Optics Planet was just working as a the middleman there, it seemed like. So it is made out of nylon. It, it, they say it's a water-resistant nylon or has water-resistant material put into it. And you can tell, like, it just sounds kind of like... Uh, I don't know, like a snow jacket, snow pants, right? Kind of that louder material uh, than, you know, what you typically have on like a plate carrier or with other types of chest rigs that are out there. Um, so going over it with the shoulder straps, they are pretty thin, uh, maybe an inch thick in width, but they there is an integrated uh, padding in there or not. It's not a lot, but it is, um, there's there's some good squish to it there. So as far as long duration, I'm not sure how well the padding is going to help with the width of that. So as far as like, I don't know, starting to cut into your shoulder based on maybe how much weight you're carrying and how long you're carrying it for. Uh, comes back to this back piece uh, where both the shoulder harness and then the ones that come under your arms, they both come to this back piece that is got the same material on the back and on the inside uh, has a perforated so it's like that mesh that's nice and breathable. Um, the way that's set up, it uh, really reminds me of like a binoculars or binos uh, chest rig kind of carrier for, for hunting um, as compared to like your typical H harness kind of setup you have from some of the other ones. Um, as far as adjustability goes, so on the, this is still part of the shoulder strap, on the so, on the front here, you got this uh, plastic, I believe it's a plastic clip, and uh, that goes through each, each of these has like a little one inch adjustment area, so it allows for a little more rapid adjustment, um, based on if you're going to be, you know, wearing it over like a jacket or just a t-shirt, but they just you know, slip right in here for a little more rapid adjustment. I'm not sure what these are for. If you would use that for like just a carabiner for, I don't know, holding something. And then they got these nice little elastic bands though, just for keeping the strap from flopping around all over on you. They do have two up there, just depend on how much adjustability. Not only can you adjust it here, but this threads through, so you can kind of fine tune that a little more for your comfort or where you want it to sit on your chest. Um, and then I figure, you know, you can use this to, uh, put other carabiners on there if you can't other material. On their main site, or with their video, they show that you can take this, loop it through your molly on, like, a chest rig, loop it back over itself, and then they have a little carabiner you can hook in there, uh, to use it as your, uh, pouches, mag pouches on like a plate carrier. On the back, they have this removable Velcro. So if you're going right onto your uh, Molly, uh, then you can just, you know, you got your Velcro, you hook it at the top, and then this, boom, attaches right to it. But that's removable, so you have Velcro there. And there's even, these kind of have their own Molly uh, pieces. So if you got individual attachment straps for that, you could do that as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they're just kind of thinking like, hey, we're going to make this as versatile as possible. Um, on the side harnesses here, 
These are magnetic. They put a little magnetic piece on the back and the little magnet on the inside. And it is a lot easier when you're wearing it to one-handed, you can come in and it just clips, locks right on, and then you can just grab it with the little, the little string here. Just grab that, boop, pop it off. Um, obviously, you could add a little length to that if you wanted it a little longer, but then it just finds its home. It's cool. I like it. I do just wonder how long it'll hold up. I don't know what's exactly holding that in, if there's just glue in there, because if that fails and falls out, I don't know how well this is going to stay on. Um, so then uh, if that falls off, you're kind of a boat without water or it's going to suck for a while until you figure something out. Um, and then it's padded along the edge here as well. Um, so options or just, just a different style with that there. Um, next, we're gonna go over the pouch here. In the front, they got this water resistant pouch. Be not only is the material here, but they, the, they use a YKK zipper, but like a, a stitched um, closure to kind of help keep the moisture, the water out, uh, depending on the environments you're in. Uh, so you open it up, this is the inside. I like how it's designed here where when you open it all the way, it doesn't just flop open and spill all your contents out. They put these little wings in here that's gonna help hold your gear in there, your flashlight, batteries, whatever stuff you got thrown in there. So it doesn't just flop all the way open, spill all your content out on the ground, whatever. Um, so I do like that they got these little retainers here. On the bottom, they have these uh, elastic cables or cords for, they, they say like tourniquet ho holder, which is awesome in that sense. It's ready, very readily available if you need it, but it is removable if you don't want them at all. You can just pop these guys out. There's just this little um, button here on the bottom that you can thread it through, adjust it, tighten it uh, for whatever you're putting in there but you can eliminate it. And then if you do get water in, it acts as a drain point. Um, so if you fully submerse it, then, then your water's gonna drain out. Um, the, as far as the mag pouches go, so you got three, they, they say they're a 5.56, five, like an AR mag or, or an AK mags. So I got two different ones here. I got a, a Gen 2 mag pole. And then an aluminum, uh, this is one of the Brownells uh, aluminum mags. On the inside, these are not elastic, right? There is no stretch here. So the reten retention is essentially the same material you kind of see back here. It's kind of a rubbery, grippy. They put the same material on the inside, right? That's their retention system. So if you're looking at this and you're going, hey, can I use this as a... Um, 7.62 or 308 uh, mag uh, carrier no because these again there's no elastic here so you cannot get these to stretch and carry those those mags right but um when these go in as far as retention goes with that um material that's in there you can see they do sit quite deep right so as far as going to grab it something you know depend on what you're doing what you're running there's not a lot to grab at the top right so if you're wearing gloves I can definitely see where it might get a little tricky getting a hold of that usually you know when you're like a plate carrier you got a little more that typically shows depend on the mag pouches you're running they typically run a little shorter um, so uh, putting something on there maybe to be able to grab uh, those a little assisted clips to or, or make pull attachments for grabbing a hold of it but you can see if I shake it real hard they're not gonna come out right there is some really solid retention there uh, for both of them I would say the mag poles do feel like they uh, slide out a lot easier as compared to the aluminum um, so depend on what you're looking at for what you're running the other reason I chose this one though, I like both what is permanently attached, but the fact that they keep this in Molly in the front so that if I wanna 
keep it nice and slim, I have that option. If I want to, you know, because primarily I'm gonna would want three mags in there. So if I want to keep it nice and slim, more concealable, I have that option. If I want to throw on um, an additional mags in the front or additional admin pouches, whatever it might be, radio attachments, I have that option. They give me some room here to do that with their laser cutouts for those Molly attachments. Um, but I like that, you know, for 75 bucks, I'm getting three mag pouches, an admin pouch off on the bottom. Um, typically, you know, like when you're looking at Spiritus systems, you're like, oh, okay, mag carriers, oh, this. You know, by the time you put the whole thing in the cart, have it ready. Now, I mean, again, you're getting a very name brand product. Um, you know, but by the time you do that, you're looking at 120, 160 bucks, just depend on what kind of setup you have. Um, but again, so that's, that's just why I wanted to do this. I wanted something really simple, but that I could expand on if I want to. And is just going to cover kind of the basic functions that I'm doing or that I feel that I need right now. Um, so again, this is first impressions. I want to run this for a while. So maybe in a few months, I'll come back, revisit it, you know, show if I've made any major changes or different ways that I'm running it and how it's holding up to my environments um, as far as cold or uh, heat, any other conditions. Like I said, I'm kind of interested to see how these are going to hold up, specifically the magnet part on the back and if that's going to become an issue or not. But again, first impression, um, you know, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it right now. I, you know, again, putting it on feels comfortable. And uh, if you're considering getting it, I would say, go ahead, take a look at getting one, try it out for yourself. But I would, as of right now, recommend it based on first impressions. Thanks, guys.